What is going on everybody? This is Tech Geo and today we're going to be talking about the honest truth about working in tech sales. Now I know tech sales can be such a great opportunity and there's so many positives and so many pros, but when it comes to having pros, there is always cons. And so I'm gonna give you guys the honest, brutal truth about working in tech sales and what it is actually like. All right, y'all, when it comes to tech sales, you are in a performance-based role, meaning the money you're going to make is not fully guaranteed. And the way you get paid in tech sales, there's actually two ways you get paid. Number one is your base salary. So this is your check that comes in every two weeks the money's always the same and your other portion of pay um, is going to be your commission or variable pay and this makes up your total ote your on target earnings so this can be quite frustrating for some people and sometimes even for me because you have to hit a certain number whether it's five meetings ten meetings five qualified opportunities 15 book meetings whatever your quota is this is the number you have to hit every single month or you do not make the total amount of money that you got on your job offer now this can be super mentally draining because not every day you get a meeting and if you are getting a meeting every day shout out to you, you're killing it send me a LinkedIn or an Instagram DM but no for real like every day you do not get a meeting and these days you don't get meetings it really puts you down because even when you do book a meeting that even doesn't even mean you get paid it's usually when that that person you booked a meeting with shows up so it's like you really got to book a lot of meetings to get your quota and then some days that you do get your quota you feel good it's like man like I just made a thousand calls and I'm starting to get some meetings which is a good feeling even when that happens it's very short-lived because you are calling again to get your next meeting so it's very short highs and very low lows but it's really just a roller coaster of highs and lows and we really need to be resilient and mentally strong and don't let anything get to you so this is like one thing that i think you should be aware of if you are trying to get into tech sales all right the next thing we're gonna be talking about is just the daily routine of being in tech sales as an sdr you're doing a ton of cold outreach whether that be emails cold calls linkedin messaging whatever you're doing you're gonna be doing a lot of outreach and so it can get extremely extremely competitive. Every single day you're making calls. Pretty much it's the same thing every day. Monday through Friday you're making calls in the mornings and the afternoons trying to get your pipeline filled up as much as possible so when the end of the month comes around you can hit your quota. So it can be extremely competitive so if you're someone who likes to switch things up do something different every single day. Tech sales can be repetitive so that's just something we should be aware of when you are getting into tech sales. All right y'all now when it comes to being in tech sales it's going to be just so hard to relax like during the day like you really just have to be on it and especially if you're working remote like me I work remote so if I want to start calling at 9 or 9 30 or 9 15 or 9 02 I really get to choose when I call which is pretty nice how you can set your own schedule but it's so hard to relax because you know you have to make these calls some days I don't feel like making these calls I'm gonna be honest with you guys I might sleep in some time I might put like a 15 minute nap but sometimes I just don't feel like making calls and so it's really hard to relax because you know you have to get these calls done so you can hit your quota so you always have like something going around in the background of you know I got to hit these quotas I got to make sure I'm booking meetings I got to make sure I'm making these calls I got to make sure my activity level is up because they check your activity level and this is another thing everything that you're doing in tech sales gets tracked so all the emails you're sending all of the calls you're sending it's literally in your CRM of the calls and the emails and everything that you're doing so you really really have to be on it when you're in tech sales it's you're it's really hard to relax but you do just feel a little bit of pressure when it comes to tech sales especially if you're working remote because no one's telling you to clock in at nine or you have to be here or do this at this time you literally have everything on your own time on your own schedule you can feel a little bit of pressure for me personally it's not too much pressure but I do find it a bit or a tad bit hard to relax and you really just have to be on your a game so that's one thing that I wanted to tell you guys and about tech sales all right and then one last thing I wanted to touch on guys just to give you a full bird's eye view perspective is that sales professionals or sales representatives are literally the least trusted profession on planet earth all right no one trusts a salesperson because usually salespeople get paid off booking a meeting closing a deal getting referral and so their goal is to literally sell you or provide you a service okay so no one likes salespeople because they do anything they can to get that meeting booked because that's how they get paid so you can't blame them but they do unethical approaches to actually getting that done and so people have a bad 
feeling or interpretation of someone who is in sales. So you're going to get a lot of people on the phones that are saying like, Hey, are you, in, are you trying to sell me something? Why are you calling? Leave me alone. Don't ever call me again. You know, I'm blocking your number. And so you get this all the time. And that's just because you are in sales. You're just trying to help solve a problem or solution, provide a solution to whoever you're calling. And so that's another thing is that, you know, no one's going to really want to talk to you because you're calling them out of the blue and they are not expecting your call. They might be doing something. They might be at work themselves. A lot of people are at jobs when you're calling them. So this is just another thing to keep in mind is that being a sales professional is not easy, although it can be fun. Like we talked about earlier, it's a lot of roller coaster of emotions. And so that's just something you have to deal with being in sales. But at the end of the day, you are actually trying to help people. So don't think about it as if, you know, it's a terrible profession. It's actually a great profession, but it's just kind of hard to deal with that perception of how people view you. And so that's going to be it for this video guys i just really want to tell you the honest truth about being in tech sales i know there's a lot of benefits and me personally i think the benefits outweigh the cons but it's always important to shed light on the cons because like i said when there is good there's always bad so you need to understand both sides before you pursue a career in tech sales but what do i know i'm just tech geo and i'll see you guys on the next video peace